Eagle Forge coming into the region championship weekend was probably expecting to see the Freedom Eagles tonight. But the Ponax Panthers come in here fresh off of knocking the number one seed out of the playoffs a week ago. The Eagles jumped out strong, taking a 20 to 7 lead into halftime. Here, Madden Lowe gives it to Jalen Black. He's got a crease, slips outside. He's got 32 yards down to the Massaponics 36 yard line. First down, Forge. Isaiah Dowell finally knocking him out of bounds. Next play, Madden Lowe throws it behind Johnson Edmonds, and Dowell picks it. He's headed the other way. He cuts it out. He's got lots of room. He's all the way down inside the 30 yard line. Of course, Michael Vincent wants to give him some love out of bounds. So that tacks on half the distance to the goal line. Ponak setting up shop at the Forge 14. Luke Morley keeps it. He's dragging folks. Michael Vincent hanging on. He's down to the five. A couple plays later, he keeps it. Cuts it up. He's fighting. He's pushing. Offensive line's pushing. Moves it over that goal line. Touchdown, Ponax. That made it a one Let's score go. game. Ponax within six, 20 to 14 with seven minutes and 28 seconds left in the third quarter. But Madden Lowe gets it back. He keeps this one. He's down inside the 20 yard line before Javen Plummer brings him down. But there's a penalty and it's called back. So this time, he drops back, says, hmm. That was fun. Let's do that again. <laughs> Taheem Kimball and Daryl Stokes finally drag him down, but not before he reaches deep into the red zone, which means Colonial Forge goes with a Wildcat and Max Cothin. A couple plays later, he threads his way through. He's in and gives the Eagles a little more breathing room. Desmond Cook inviting everyone into the celebration. That makes it 27 to 14, Forge. Luke Morley gets the ball again. He keeps it. Gets on the corner. Gets about 11 yards. First down, Panthers. Morley. He's rolling again. Picks up another first down. Moving it into Colonial Forge territory. Same drive, Morley. He's got Antoine Miller dragging toes. It's complete and another Massaponics first down. This drive stretches into the fourth quarter. Luke Morley again, keeping. He's got another first down just outside the 10 yard line. But on the next play, Morley keeps it again, moves to his right side. Michael Vincent grabs a hold of him and drags along the ground. He catches Luke's left foot and turns that ankle. Luke Morley stays down, he's in some pain. Check it out again. You can see as Vincent drags his body across that left ankle, it turns. Morley left the game, and he did not return the rest of the night. So in comes Monte McMorris at quarterback. He keeps it, moves it up off the right tackle. He's down to the one yard line. Couple plays later, Monte gives it to Jacob Romero, and he pops it in on the left side behind Elijah Christopher leading through that hole. Ponax back to within six with seven minutes and 29 seconds left in the game. Madden low and the Forge offense aren't done though. He gives it to Josh Johnson. He's got a hole and he's in the secondary across midfield for 20 yards and an Eagle first down. Later on that same drive, Forge facing fourth down and two from the Ponax 35 yard line. They go Wildcat. Vincent seals the corner and Mason Rega seals the end. Cothin's off and running. He's got a touchdown. That might be a backbreaker with Luke Morley out of the game for Ponax. Air horns blaring, eagles screaming, and the players celebrating. But there's more. They go for two. Max in the Wildcat again. He's in easy. It's 35-21 with 5.23 to go in the game. On the next kick, they squib it. Antoine Miller scoops it up at his own 18-yard line, glides into the middle, He's got a crease, changes gears. He's out about midfield. But Ponax was unable to cash in on the field position. They turn it over. Madden Lowe back at the helm. He gives it to Jordan Barnett. Check this out. He breaks the tackle. Quincy House catches up with him and grabs a hold of that helmet. And he doesn't let go. He took the helmet right off of Jordan's head. 
Jordan says all night long. That puts it out of reach. Colonial Forge 42, Ponax 21. The Eagles win the region championship and move on to the state semifinal game next weekend where they will face the Oscar Smith Tigers. We've seen Oscar Smith a few times too, and uh, you know they're a super talented group of players every year. They're well coached every single year, um, you know. And we're probably going to have to go down there. I'm almost positive we've got to go down there and play them, but the, we've done that before. So our kids will be excited to be back in the state semifinals too. It'll it'll be a good game, I'm sure. Everybody healthy after tonight? I think so. Yep, I haven't had a chance to check on, them, but you know when you play uh, Massaponics, you know you're going to come out with some bumps and bruises. This win tonight was special for quarterback Madden Lowe. Last year on this day we lost, so this year we came back and we overcame that obstacle, but there's two more to go. The first of those two opponents, Oscar Smith, brings some history with these Colonial Forge Eagles. I was on I was on the field on freshman year when they lost, so it stung. I was in the bleachers uh, the time before that, so um, it hurts. That pain has Elijah Surratt, the all-everything defensive back and wide receiver for the Forge, focused on the ultimate outcome. So I feel like we're a state championship team. As long as we keep on working on practice and the games, uh, we, we can go a long way with it. Reporting in Stafford, Virginia, for High Def High School, I'm Joe Ball.